How's it going, everybody? I am here at Form Next, Europe's largest additive manufacturing conference, and it is my first day. I'm not actually here the full day today. So uh, in this first video, I'm gonna bring you all some of the more industrial solutions, what's outside of our little bubble of consumer 3D printing. So enjoy this quick uh, reel, if you will, of all the different things that I saw on my first day here at Form Next. to the eSun booth. Many of you know their filaments. A lot of different kinds of filament here on display. And it is my first time ever in person seeing the mythical Bamboo Lab carbon. I've never seen one in person. It's a lot smaller than I thought it was. And man, it is nice. It is nice. Kind of cool that Isan is promoting Bamboo's printer, even though they're next door to Creality. Not sure how that works. Isan just uh, released uh, a high fast speed 3D printer filament uh, recently. And uh, as you know, for the regular one, we just uh, print uh, 50 uh, millimeters per hour. Now we can reach about 250. Uh, we print on our partners, printers, uh, Bamboo Lab or Anchor, and meanwhile, uh, with a high fast speed, but uh, the accuracy is not loose and uh, is uh, even better than the normal one. Here we have the, we have the paper spools. Yeah, it's a color board. This is the metal PLA. And, uh, and mean also we have a larger solution, for example, a, you, you can use, uh, we call the refill filament. Yeah, refill filament we use the, we call the response. This is a reusable spools. Yeah, we have two ways to uh, help, uh, to, uh, help our customers to save money. And in the future, uses uh, filaments uh, also a uh, light wind. As you know, the regular one, uh, it's a, uh, it's not nice wind. Uh, Ethan make, uh, we will we'll make all our filaments to be nice wind. So this will can help you reduce the clot. Amazing. Well, that explains why they have the Bamboo X1 Carbon here. It's because they're promoting ultra fast filament. Really cool, really exciting. I'm honestly very jealous of this bamboo. It's so much smaller than I thought. And wow, it is nice looking. Okay, let's stop fantasizing about the bamboo lab. So here we present the Siglas technology, which allows you to do the direct ink writing printing with a melted glass. We use that glass for producing and automating manufacturing of nanostructured optics. This is a breakthrough technology that uh, was never shown before and it allows you to do the flat lenses that are nanostructured inside. That means that the light is following the gradients of the refractivity indexes. And how we can achieve that and how we can automate this process is by applying the melted glass in a special pattern and then bringing it to the drawing tower machine to be left over with the final product, which is a fiber optic. Here we present the first demonstrator that contains the top hat fiber optic for better power distribution in the lasers. But you could do many more. For example, in the medical applications, you could uh, create a fiber optic that is resonating with the cancer tissue. So you put that fiber optic inside the needle, uh, you, you put it in the patient, and then you can see if the cancer tissue is resonating, then you just detected the cancer, but and, and saved around two weeks time for taking the flesh out, sending it to the laboratory, to the technician and waiting for a diagnosis. More applications can include higher bandwidth in the data communications. So you could now create the fiber optics that have multiple channels inside. 
This is like going from 4G to 5G or 5G to 6G. We are the manufacturer for the 3D printers and also filaments. And now I'm introducing the two colors in one dual color filament, which is very fancy and impressive for the models. You can see all the colors. They are all silk and with two colors in one. You can see here. Wow. Yes. My name is Thomas Bettin, I'm the current CEO of Blinkster and uh, we are very thrilled to announce this new machine at Formnext. It's the S300X. It's basically an IDEX 3D printer that's capable of printing liquids. So we're talking about two parts silicones or polyurethane on the left and a water-soluble uh, material on the right with a tool head swap under three seconds capable of printing industrial grade and medical grade silicones and polyethanes. So it's basically game changing for um, surface treatment application that requires very soft masks, uh, but also dampers, orthetics, epithesis, uh, basically different soft uh, qualified uh, medical devices. So that's the first ratio for this machine. Uh, it's the little sister of the S600D, our legacy printer. The S600D that you can see just uh, on this side, which is the most versatile 3D printer on the market. It's a printer where you can change the tool heads um, and it's capable of handling filament tool heads, liquid tool heads and paste tool heads. So basically on the same machine you can print thermoplastics uh, such as polypropylene, polyamide carbon fiber, PEG, uh, TPUs, but also liquid materials such as two-part silicone as seen on the S300X, uh, polyurethanes, and finally paste such as um, ceramic, traditional ceramics and technical ceramics. Um, printing out of our material range that we release at Formnex as well. Uh, liquid material, filament material, pasty materials. Uh, but the machine remains open, uh, so basically you can print whatever you want and tune the machine the way you want. It's an industrial machine uh, that is open and, uh, and basically the S300X is the, is the leader sister in a more compact form factor. How does printing silicon actually work? I thought you have to mix silicon. So printing silicon is uh, basically an, an art uh, that, we, that we've developed over the course of the last six years. Um, as you can see, we're basically starting from a liquid formulation and we've got a two component silicone. So it's at the liquid state in the syringe here on a cartridge or in a big bucket. And it's micro dispensed thanks to industrial pumps into a static mixer. The static mixer mixes A and B, starts the curing, starts the cross-linking process and extrude a very thin line of silicone that's dense so we can peel up the layers. Interesting fact is that everything cures together without photoactivation is purely chemical. It's purely, um, I mean, it's, it's industrial and medical grade silicones. It means that the layer bonds extremely well together. And let me, let me fetch you a part. It gives fully isotropic results, which like a crazy, crazy elongation with different shore harness. You can see a, a medical sleeve here, for example, you can put it upside down. Uh, it is skin contact certified and it prints in three hours and 10 minutes. That's super fast. Uh, we print big layers and then we put a soft touch varnish on it. first directly printed 3d printed aligners the so the conventional way of making direct aligner or clear liner is that you print the model 
which doesn't need to be safe or biocompatible. And then you vacuum form on top of it with plastic, generally PETG material. And then you get the thin clear liner. But for our material, we have a technology uh, to print the material, the direct, direct aligner directly from the 3D printer. So you have the aligner as soon as you print it. So you don't need to print the models or you don't need to scan the model and waste the material. And you get this. And this is the world's first uh, medical device certified 3D printable material. So apparently we're printing entire car bumpers now. I cannot believe it, but <laughs> we're doing it. Here's a 3D printer that I'm pretty sure me and my entire family could climb into from Mosaic. <laughs> Turns out it's not one 3D printer, it's actually multiple. It's a full print farm, all in one. Holy crap, and it's 70,000 euros. Creality is here. This is actually the first company that I've seen that I am familiar with their products. And it looks like Isun is right next door to them. Let's see what they brought with them today. Wow, look at the size of this CRM4. 450 by 450 by 470 millimeter build volume. And yes, it is still a bed slinger. Let's see how that works out for them, but it actually seems to be printing pretty fast. And I have to say that's probably the biggest bed slinger I've seen from a manufacturer and not custom made. Really impressive. And here is the Ender 3 V2 Neo. Pretty exciting. And the Creality Halo. I've wanted to get my hands on one of these. Uh, it is an SLA resin printer from Creality, which is something new as far as I know. 250 yeah. millimeters per second. That is fast. Uh, you use it and the speed can really upgrade like uh, about three to five times. Uh, it's more like uh, up to like 300, um, you know, and also uh, you can link to the Wi-Fi. And I can use the Wi-Fi and as well as use the camera. The camera can click the link to there and then all, all, uh, always that you can uh, monitoring and also you do the, see the time lapse, you know. So this is very useful. Um, by using this uh, Sony pad, you can really control in this uh, printing whole process. Very good, yeah. So This works on any printer? Uh, currently that we make it compatible with uh, three printer and then also uh, gradually that all the printer of uh, our quality will be able to use uh, this uh, you know Sony pad yeah. make sure that you're subscribed because tomorrow I'm going to attack the entire other hall which is bigger than this has way more stuff than this and also has all of the manufacturers you're interested in seeing from Creality to Prusa and many many more Thank <laughs> you.